Hi, this is Joshua from Music, and today I'll be showing you how to find out the number of students that were enrolled on a particular date. Our first step is to go to the Enrollments tab in the menu, and then from the Student section, we need to click on the Student Lists link. Once here, you need to click on the Filterable Lists link. Then you need to scroll down and find the Enrollment Status option and make sure that enrolled is selected in the first box but we need to add another one so click on add other and from this box here we need to select the leave option now we need to select the data that we want in our file so our first step is to go to the additional information section and choose the date started here one then we need to go to leaving details and from here choose the date of leaving. And then finally, extra MOE details and choose the funding year level. Once you've selected these options, click on export details to create the file. Then we need to choose where we want to save it and click save. Then you open the file that you've just created. Our first step here is to spread our data out. So we come up here to the little box and click on it and this will select all uh, the worksheet. And then we come up between the A and the B and we double click and this will spread all our data out. Make sure everything is still selected. Make sure that you are in the Home tab, come across to the end and click on Sort and Filter. And from here choose the Filter option. And this will create filters in our headings. You can now click anywhere to deselect. Make sure that you are on the date started here cell. Click on the drop down arrow and come down to date filters. From this list here we need to choose the before option. And in this box here you need to input the date that you want to find the number of students that were enrolled at on. So I'm going to be doing the 15th of May 2015. Once you've done that, click OK. Then we come across to the date of leaving cell, click on the drop down arrow again, go to date filters, but this time choose after. And in this box here, put the same date, just put in before. But we need to also select or, and from this box choose equals, but leave this box blank. And now this will give us the students that left after the date we want, or have not left yet. And then click OK. Now we have filtered out the data that we don't want and only have the data that we do want. Our next step is to hover over above the date started here column, click, hold down and drag across to select these three columns. Then we right click in the selection and choose copy. Then come down to the bottom of the page and click on this button here to create a new worksheet. Once in here we need to right click and choose the first paste option. And now we need to spread this out again. So we'll choose the box up here to select everything and then we'll double click between A and the B again. Then we need to uh, click anywhere to deselect. Now we want to go above the funding year level column and click to select this entire column. Next come up to the insert tab, click on here and choose the pivot table and then click OK to create a new pivot table. Once in here, come across and click on the checkbox next to the funding year level option. And then click, hold and drag this down to the values box. And now this has created two columns for us. The first column here is the year level, so we've got year 2 to year 13. And this, uh, this column here shows us the number of students that were enrolled in that year level at the date we previously chose. For example, in year two, we have nine students, year three, we have 10 students, and so on. The grand total here shows us the total number of students that were enrolled on that particular date.